All righty here. Bought by my Penny Holmes is MX1 Racing and a uh, brilliant 21 point lead now in the championship for Maximus Purvis. So uh, the equation is very simple for the rest of the competitors. They need to start beating this man. And uh, it's all going to come down to uh, the stars. We saw Hamish Harwood in race two here yesterday. What a start. And he just ran away with it. So uh, can he repeat the dose here? We're now in the starters' uh, hands. Ready to go for a 20 minute moto. Race number one, round four here for MX1. And uh, the gate drops run away in the roar of those 450s down into uh, the first corner. It's a great start, Michael Kratzer on the uh, Modal Best Build Honda. And Hamish Harwood gets a wonderful start as well. Maximus is handy to the pace. We've got Kane Lamont in about fourth place as uh, they all fly under the Penny Holmes uh, overbridge and around to start uh, this uh, electrifying uh, lap number one. But Hamish Harwood, he has uh, pulled himself into the front of this one here. Maximus in second place. Uh, this is. Uh, a repeat of uh, race two here yesterday where uh, Hamish got that electrifying start and no one could touch him. So uh, are we going to see the same here? Uh, he knows the equation in this championship. He needs to win races and hope uh, everything else happens. And behind him, Maximus Purvis, he's the one that needs to ride smart. The 21-point lead in the championship. We've got Kane Lamont and the Troy Lee Honda in third place. A much better start for Tuffy. He's going to go uh, with the top two boys. We've got uh, uh, Coops there as well. He can't rest on his laurels because he's only got a 20-odd uh, point uh, buffer. And back to Michael Kratzer, the third and fourth in this championship. So uh, with two races to go, not only is uh, it still on for the overall, but uh, the points in behind are uh, certainly going to be uh, something to keep an eye on. So uh, good stuff here from MX1. Uh, We've got 19 entries in these massive 20-minute motos. Only two of them here today, but Hamish Harwood, is this exactly uh, what he wanted to do? Get that good start, clean track, and uh, manage this race. All right, so uh, 21 points to put the scenario in place that uh, Maximus wins and Hamish is in uh, second in place so uh, that would mean a uh, three point buffer and it would only take 21 to 24 so it would still not be enough still not be enough so we would need the last race but of course and if uh, Hamish can win well it definitely means we need the last race so 21 point advantage for the flying 44 the Eltham JCR Yamaha hero Maximus Purvis but uh, anyway whatever the uh, case we're about to see our best riders in action and look how good, look how good. Man, oh man, the champions have come back to perform and how good are they? Here it is, the uh, flying number one, number one on the bike and uh, the number uh, one uh, uh, title challenger in uh, Hamish Shaharwood up against the uh, ace and star and points leader and 44 mighty Maximus Purvis. But I tell you what, one out of the block, this is when you've got to make the move, you've got to go early, you've got to make the pounce on him. So uh, one by 44, back to... Uh, 94, go Tuffy! Yes, much better from the Troy Lee man today on that uh, Hot Shot Honda. So uh, well done with our uh, number one. This is our Penny Holmes excitement and MX1 uh, racing. Keep looking out for the 94, came them off for Blue Wing, Honda Motul, Troy Lee Design, Oakley Edgar, along with Crowley Workshop Graphics, Flying W Suspension, Power Parts Depot 70, along with X-Ring uh, uh, Moto SR Suspension uh, Twin Air, uh, Rental with uh, Yoshimura, Dr. Trim, Carl Mason uh, Builders, Phil Perry Contracting, a shout out to uh, uh, Phil, that's a fantastic firm, long supporting the uh, awesome uh, Lamont family. Shout out to uh, Jamie with us here today, no longer riding, but a key member of that uh, awesome uh, Lamont race team and some great memories of the years gone by. And no chainsaw today, folks, I would like to point out, no chainsaw today, he's left that behind. The uh, most uh, fierce uh, uh, spectator involved that you've ever seen in, at a moto uh, track. We love you, Jamie, and a huge amount of respect, and neat to see you here with your family today. That's pretty special for uh, you in the sport, so uh, bring it on. Out there to support him, Mr. Kane Lamont doing it all big time as we go but racing at the moment, but uh, all on for that championship to be decided because uh, Maximus Purvis, the 21 point lead over uh, Hamish Harwood, but at the moment it's Hamish in front, Maximus for the second, and that man, the 94, back in here now of uh, Kane Lamont. Now, of course, Kane is seven behind Honda teammate uh, Michael Kratzer, so a chance to get four NZ today, but I tell you what, the man who turned it all up here yesterday, definitely BG, local star, Mr. Brad Grimbridge on that uh, white line Grimbridge refrigeration, Kawasaki 450, and he just got better and stronger as the day went on, on the uh, seven 7th of January, he weighed 99 kilos. He's now weighing 80 kilos, folks. He's lost 19 kilos. He's been a man on a mission. He's done it in two and a half months. He's focused, he's styled. He's been winning in our New Zealand Sprint Series off-road events, and he's on fire here in our motocross, getting two podiums yesterday. Come on, meet him behind him, Taupo. Look out from the famous uh, Bad Groombridge in action. But at the moment, uh, it is uh, all on here as we uh, look out for our uh, stars. But uh, what's happened, Brad? What's happened? Yeah, no Hamish Howard. No, we've got no Hamish Howard. So uh, Hamish uh, not here now, and uh, that's uh, led uh, Maximus Purvis to inherit this uh, race lead. So uh, trying to catch up a bit of the update here, but a bit of drama in our uh, championship as uh, Hamish Harwood uh, not with us here in this top pack. We've got uh, 
Uh, Maximus now inherits the lead and got a decent advantage. Back to uh, Caleb on a BG. So uh, those two uh, going there with uh, Max at the moment. Michael Kratz is there. Tyler Steiners is better from Tyler in the uh, top five now. So fifth for him, sixth for Cody Cooper, who's uh, uh, still on for that uh, three NZ. Uh, but uh, yeah, the drama at the moment. Uh, no, Hamish Howard. Uh, unfortunate stuff. So he has gone through the uh, he's gone through the line. He's uh, got uh, uh, no peak on the helmet. He's definitely had a crash at somewhere. Uh, we didn't quite pick it up here, but uh, 18th place for Hamish Harwood. So uh, a little bit of drama uh, dished up in this uh, opening MX1 encounter. Oh wow, wow, wow! That's what we did not want to see from a championship point of view. Yeah, we on, from the point of view of Maximus Purvis, of course, those fans would have wanted to see it. But I tell you what, if there was a motor that he needed to win, it was this one to keep it alive because he needs every race to have a chance. Because uh, you know something like this could happen to Maximus, but it's happened to the man putting on the challenge himself. And back in 18th place, that is lousy. So what that's going to do, of course, is mean that uh, the uh, He'll get more than the uh, four points that he uh, needs to give Maximus the uh, glory on that one. And as well, looking out for the Coop star, of course, uh, Cody Cooper. Where is uh, Cody in that battle? He's back in about sixth place at the moment, so he will be a man in uh, third. Those guys have a reasonable buffer. So first to second is 21 points, second to third is 12, and then third back to fourth is 22 points. It's the seven points back to Kane in that uh, fifth place that's the best one. So Kane, the one, if ever he needs a good motor, it's this one. And he's got BG behind him. I'll tell you what, BG breathing down because BG is only six points back as well so here's the two local uh, riders Manga Kino's uh, Kane Lamont and uh, Taupo's Brad Groomage uh, fighting for a fifth and sixth they want a chance to be there and on the podium with those other big boys of our sport it is coming down to the wire right here at uh, Taupo and Digger McEwen Park and our uh, Penny Holmes MX1 oh, Unbelievable Maximus Purvis so what uh, we talk about uh, the, uh, the equations that were uh, in front of him, but uh, none of those equations we thought about had Hamish Harwood crashing in the early stage of this moto. So Maximus, the 21-point lead in the championship, he's got a 33-point buffer back to Cody Cooper. So uh, with him out in front, we could see him win with an unassailable lead with a race to spare. So uh, unbelievable stuff here as we've got uh, that's uh, going nicely for Maximus Purvis. Uh, we've got uh, Kane Lamont and Brad Groomage, uh, two uh, stars that have been on the podium uh, once in this championship, but they are going for it at the moment. And then look out for Michael Kratzer and Tyler Steiner. Then we go with uh, uh, Hamish Harwood. Uh, let's have a look at where he fits in. He is uh, sitting there. So inside the top 15 now, so uh, well done to uh, Hamish Harwood. He's got himself inside the top 15. No peak on the helmet. He's got uh, a lot of uh, dirt and debris all over the back of that CML KTM. And uh, definitely uh, somewhere he has had a big crash. So uh, unfortunate stuff for our defending MX1 champion. Oh, man, I mean, that's the ultimate case. Of, I've always said if ever I could come back again, I want to come back with eyes in the back of my head. You want to come back where you can see so much more that's going on on a racetrack. So there was some drama there with a capital D. We put more drama into this one, motor than Shortland Street's got in a week. It is all on here at the moment for our... Uh, a championship and down to the wire. This is going to be super fast and super exciting, but uh, Maximus Purvis, a chance for it. None better, in fact, because you're out in front as well. Uh, will he want to push it? What's the education? What do you think he's going to do? Because, A, he's not got Hamish Harwood in the battle. Does he know that, though? Does he know that? Does he realise what's gone on? And Cody, does he realise the uh, few points that he's got? Remember, of course, the buffer is 33 points back to uh, Cody uh, as compared to the uh, 21 back to uh, Hamish. So there we go. There's the uh, mass analogy of this one. So it's all on. I'd suggest we're is thinking all he knows is by being in front and staying in front and uh, can we see uh, Yamaha take the big one MX1 and of course uh, this man will be a serious contender now, and he will go to that elite uh, stage he, he, I think he's going to be the youngest rider to have won all those three major titles in New Zealand MX125 MX1 and MX2 so bring it on put Maximus Purvis's name in the elite of our sport three different classes all those titles Hey, we've got a superstar and a man called Dennis Charlotte in New Zealand Road Racing, and he's won a 125, a 250, a 600, and a Superbike uh, title, along with uh, a 300 Supersport and, I uh, think, a class called Pro Twins as well. So we, we've got our goats in the road racing in New Zealand, but the number that we've got in uh, motocross is a, a small, exquisite group. And they are joined by the likes of uh, Murray Anderson, uh, Shane King, Daryl King, now Cody Cooper, and uh, Hamish Harwood uh, in here as well. So uh, will it be Maximus uh, Purvis? We're about to find out. Oh, this is unbelievable. How good is this? MX1 and uh, halfway through it, Maximus Purvis, uh, I think uh, uh, Maximus 
He's just stretched it out to um, 3.8 seconds. He's put the fastest lap of the race, and I think he's just uh, got that adrenaline going through. He's in the lead. He knows the championship's up for grabs, and he's uh, absolutely loving it. So uh, we're looking at Maximus Purvis on the 44. The red plate's on board. And then that battle for second place is uh, starting to get uh, pretty exciting. As uh, Kane Lamont, Brad Groombridge, it's BG that's now got up himself into second place. So that's uh, been the change. So BG on that uh, Kia Trailers white line Kawasaki. He's uh, up into second place. There's Kane Lamont still uh, in that uh, wonderful third. We've got uh, Michael Kratzer and Tyler Sina on the modal best build Hondas. Those two are there in fourth and fifth place. And there is Cody Cooper in sixth place. So six for Coops. Uh, he's going to need to probably uh, try and do a little bit better than that if he wants to hang on to 3NZ because Michael, uh, Kane and Brad, uh, they'll be coming for him. So uh, he needs to uh, try and make sure he maximises those points outings to not make it too spicy at the end. Brad Grimbridge was on, uh, what was it, uh, 90, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 99 uh, kgs down to uh, 80, the 19 uh, kg loss. Uh, I don't know how many he was at Belcleta because, of course, that was six weeks ago and he would have only been into his uh, a routine by uh, a mere uh, month or so. So uh, what he's done since then has been incredible. His uh, results, if we go back to uh, that event, he scored uh, on that day, he scored 15, 13, 15. And then, of course, uh, a month later, and uh, a, a month ago, well, in fact, only two weeks later, I should say, and a month ago now, he scored 15, 16, 16. And then yesterday, 15, 20. 2020 for those uh, two third places. This man, he's in second, a chance to score 22. So he has literally almost uh, doubled the score, and that means highlighted his race results to be just inside the uh, top 10 at round number one. Here he is now, just inside the podium for an incredible uh, second place. And if he does that in the next race as well, he could unseed uh, Kane Lamont, and the two of them might be able to unseed uh, Michael Kratzer in there as well. They're visiting Austrian on that uh, best built Motul uh, KDM, as I'm not washing me up here, Honda race team out there. So uh, Wow, some uh, point scenarios to be added to this one. It is not over. We're going to need the next race as well for those guys. But a man who should not need the next race based on this performance, Maximus Purvis, going for that uh, MX1 title. And uh, how good is that going to be? Well, of course, uh, uh, 125. It's been a victory for uh, KDM. 250 has been a victory for Kawasaki. And here we go with our MX1 and potentially a victory for uh, our third JCR Yamaha. So the uh, spoils are shared around our major recognised brands in motocross as we go fighting and frying to find our uh, MX1 king for 2023. Yeah, 13th place, the update for Hamish Harwood. So he is coming through the pack and uh, he'll try and keep that uh, fight with uh, Cody Cooper alive. There's 12 points between him in second and Cody in third for the championship. So every point Hamish Harwood can get uh, in this one will be quite vital. So 13th place with uh, seven and a half minutes to go. Needs to just keep fighting. He's got no peak on the helmet, so uh, that'll become a factor when he goes through some traffic. But, uh, man, uh, I tell you what, you just couldn't even write a story like this we've had in this uh, MX1 Senior Motocross Championship. Max was Purvis. A credit to that man here. He's about uh, seven and a half minutes away from potentially his debut MX1 National Championship. It's pretty exciting, but uh, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves because we've seen in this championship already anything can happen at any time. Well, uh, speaking about any time, Brad, I'll tell you what, normally you think about, well, the Motocross National are over, we'll go into winter, everything will be quiet. Hell no, not this year. Uh, speaking about, uh, I'll go for July, for example, the month of July. Uh, first one up, first Saturday in July is the uh, C4 Energy Drinks Bush Riders uh, Championship round. Uh, in uh, Taikaria and the mighty uh, Manawatu the following day it's a Manawatu Orion day at uh, Flips Moto Park just a kilometre down the road. We go a week later to the New Zealand Sand uh, Champs uh, between Taikaria and uh, Gold Coast Club also in the greater uh, Manawatu region and one week after that we're right here at Digger McEwen for our uh, uh, Mariki weekend and the uh, Battle of the Clubs on uh, Saturday and a Taupo Club Motocross on the Sunday. So there you go, six and Incredible days, three weekends in a row in uh, July, a month that's normally an off-season, normally a month that you'd say, oh, we're not going to do too much in uh, July, but I tell you what, they are uh, what will equate to six very good events to be held over those weekends. We are packing more quality motocross into the year now, as uh, you can't believe, so bring it on with July. Should be uh, something special, and I'm sure some of these riders in action over those uh, cool events as well. So uh, remembering, folks, we are back here. The famous Battle of the Clubs is back in Taupo and rocking into Matariki weekend. Uh, all right, uh, six minutes to go in MX1, race number one. Maximus Purvis on the doorstep of his first ever MX1 championship. He leads by 5.2 seconds over Brad Groomage and Kane Lamont. Michael Kratzer and Tyler Steiner are still there for a modal best build Honda 4 and 5. Uh, Cody Cooper there in sixth place, so uh, he is uh, 
uh, riding very smart today. Uh, talked to Coops yesterday, and that was one of the hardest days of motocross he's ever had to dig deep for. So he was absolutely shattered, and uh, that uh, paired with his uh, uh, week in Australia the week before, riding in 42 degree temperature. So uh, the body's been put through the ringer over the last fortnight for Cody Cooper, and doing a sensible job there in uh, sixth place. We've got Hayden Smith on that CML Gas Gas 302 stroke. That's brilliant to see him uh, in seventh place. Ethan Waters into eighth. Well done to Ethan. Some of the best we've seen uh, from him in this campaign. Then go to ninth for Toby Winniata. And tenth now for Hamish Howard. He is on the move. And he knows how vital all these championship points are with that uh, two NZ still uh, well within his sights. I'll well, tell you what, Avalsi was 42 degrees last week. Brad Tauper here on Wednesday morning was only two degrees. So that the hell is a 40 degrees difference. Only a matter of a few days. So the climate can throw a few things at you. And certainly it is. And uh, here's a good example of it. So bring it on with Tauper on a lovely day today. A little bit of cloud cover making it awesome. So less evaporation of the uh, water in the track plus the fact that it's not as hot for these riders and for the fact that we're in the last weekend of March one week of daylight saving next New Zealand so but this time next week we'll be uh, back in uh, uh, New Zealand standard uh, daylight time and uh, well for one reason you won't be coming to a motocross in the dark in the morning so much but of course those uh, barbecues will need to be an hour earlier at uh, night bring it on with the uh, our uh, great uh, Clayton summer in New Zealand in a bit of autumn time. There we go, 94, 94, looking back, looking back. Yes, indeed. A and uh, bit, of a, bit, of a, bit of a hiccup, bit of a hiccup. Where's he gone to? Where's he gone to? Back there to uh, fifth place, fifth place. So uh, uh, Michael's gone past him. Tyler's gone past him. Uh, he didn't. Kane Lamont did not need that. Brad did not need that. was crucial. Absolutely, and I tell you what, this is quite exciting for us as a sport in New Zealand because Michael Kratzer in line for his first MX1 podium here. He's now up into third place, so uh, that'll be uh, exciting for the race fans. We love having our international visitors come over, and it's been a joy to have uh, Michael Kratzer on, on our shores here. So uh, this will be a uh, vindication of the work and effort that he and the Modal Best Build Honda team have put in this uh, campaign. For him to get a podium, that'll be wonderful. We've still got three and a half minutes, so we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Tyler Sign is right there as well. He hasn't had a trip to the podium in MX1 this season. He'd be loving that as well. So there's only 1.9 seconds separating the two teammates. And I'll tell you what, Brad Groovich turned up here yesterday without being on the podium. He not only did one, he did two trips to it, and now he's in line to go uh, position two and really catapult the standings here in MX1. What an awesome uh, final couple of rounds for the local man, BG. And uh, just some of the cool stories we've got here with three minutes remaining. This is starting to get pretty excited. The Elfin Window Systems JCR Yamaha team will be uh, on the fence pretty shortly. Uh, really close to Maximus Purvis being crowned uh, MX1 champion for 2023. And what a season it's been. It's uh, going to be electric. So uh, let's go for it. Three minutes to go, plus one lap. Maximus Purvis well in command. He's in cruise control now. And uh, almost uh, on a, a couple of parade laps here to bring it home. So uh, scintillating stuff. He's a multiple-time New Zealand junior champion, a former 125 and two-time MX2 champion. This will be the icing on the cake for this young man as uh, the sky is the limit for the talented young man, Maximus Purvis, uh, putting on a show for his hometown fans. Well, I remember the New Zealand mini champ, Sadika Matur, on the beautiful west coast, the scenic west coast of the uh, South Island. And uh, Maximus had been a rider in contention. And uh, Kenan from uh, the uh, KDM team was able to track him down and uh, se secure the family to support and uh, made the change the first time we ever saw him ride for the KDM brand. He came away as a New Zealand mini champion on that occasion. He was probably going into the event as a favourite anyway, but uh, for the machine that the uh, KDM was at the time and the support that he got, it uh, cemented his uh, glory and of course he's been going on to do a lot of winning since. And uh, of course, Brad, he's one of those riders that have done the double in our uh, junior sport as well by winning at uh, both 125 and 250 title. Exactly what, uh, of course, uh, Cole Davies did uh, in last year championship and uh, what Kane Lamont did him back in 2010 for example the unique honour of uh, our 125 win and at 250 win so uh, he's had plenty of titles many titles, junior titles, senior titles uh, now and more importantly all three of those classes 125, MX1 and MX2 it's going to be touch and go whether he uh, gets another lap in before this white flag as we've seen it uh, on a number of different occasions. Must be this Mark II, Digger McEwen, we've had for round four. It must just be perfectly aligned with lap times and uh, race duration because we've had uh, uh, some times the white flags just come out. We've had some times where there's been less than 20 seconds on the clock and they've had to do another entire lap. So uh, we're in the... Uh, hands of the time gods at the moment because Maximus Purvis has one minute and five seconds left on the clock. He's over Yamaloop's centre point as well so he's got uh, slightly less than half a lap to go and uh, potentially the white flag but potentially one more as well. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. We've got uh, 
20 minutes past the lap, but the 20 minutes expires, and then the white flag comes out the next time the race leader comes through. So we could potentially do about 21 and a half minutes before the white flag here. Uh, we're going to wait and see, but uh, nevertheless, that 10-second advantage to Maximus Purvis. This has been absolutely brilliant. What a campaign. After two races in this championship, you would have thought Hamish Harwood was going to run away with it. It was done. And then Maximus answered back. He argued big time in round number one. Won that final race at Belclutha. And ever since then, it's been Maximus Purvis on the front foot. And uh, a deserved champion he will be in a uh, couple of laps' time as uh, the clock uh, almost running out. Well, let's go to that first race, Brad. We finished third. That is his worst result. That's his worst result. Remember when he won the MX2 title uh, here a few years ago, three years ago? He had only won two races of the 12 that there were overall, but he became the champion. Why? Because in every other race, he'd done nothing worse than a third. So very similar result. Super consistent. Here we go. White flag. It's one lap to go. So uh, here we are. An opportunity to uh, crown the champion. Maximus Perfect of course, uh, our firm JCR had the uh, credit, had the ability, had the foresight to uh, promote the man as being their uh, creme de la creme uh, MX1 uh, campaigner and uh, this is only the second year on the bike with the team so uh, and already to have uh, taken this uh, championship will be absolutely huge. What a turning point in our sport, a brand new name to be added because this is a first time MX1 win after the uh, joys of minis, juniors, uh, seniors with MX125 uh, and MX2 he's now going to take an MX1 title and it's a unique and rich honour in fact if we look back over the years and you do the, the history of the sport you're actually talking of less than two handfuls of riding who have uh, riders who have won in the last 20 years that's the uh, uh, ecliptic situation we've got you know take Cody Cooper folks a nine times champion nine years nobody else was able to win the title because Cody was so dominant just one of the features they're all about this man has the number one plate on the uh, bike for the number one the reigning champion under some real threat to here this time so it is not over yet not over you never say never we've seen that in so many uh, sports and uh, this year uh, I would suggest no different but we're going to take every part of it and enjoy it all uh, Brad we are counting them down we're on the last one can he do it from here is it fingers I, I reckon even I reckon even his uh, competitors even his rivals will be happy to see Maximus everybody Absolutely. loves the Maximus purpose don't they this is going to be good, and I reckon this is going to be a bit of a show here. There's going to be whips, heel clickers, you name it. He will be absolutely elated under that helmet here. This is going to feel pretty good. The red plate was on ever since round two at Rotorua. He has never looked like losing it from there. To win an MX Championship with a race in hand, that's a really, really good performance, and the pressure he's piled on the competitors this year. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. So let's get excited about this one here. A brand-new MX1 champion awaits. He's going to do it with an entire race to spare. He's got a couple of back markers to negotiate, a couple of corners, but let's give it up for Maximus Purvis, the 44. Alfair Window System, JCA Yamaha. He's going to take the win and the championship. Absolutely brilliant from Maximus, and uh, that's going to be absolutely spectacular. Here's BG, one of the rides of the weekend for him. He's going to come home and hang on to second place, and Michael Kratz is going to hang on there, and we'll have an Austrian uh, MX champion on our podium. That's going to be good uh, to see and uh, wonderful vindication for all the effort that's gone in from our Austrian visitor. So uh, well done to uh, the Modal Best Build Honda team and all their efforts. Uh, here comes uh, uh, Tyler Steiner. He will come home at a quality fourth place. So that will be uh, probably uh, his best performance of this entire campaign, sitting eighth in the championship. So well done to Tyler Steiner. That's saving his best till last. And here's Cody Cooper. He's going to come home and grab himself fifth place. And uh, that'll go a long way towards uh, helping him uh, cement. Uh, one, two, and three uh, as they stand in the championship. So uh, well done to uh, Maximus Purvis. Gets the race win and the new MX1 crown. Brad Groombridge uh, continues his dominant uh, performance here. Uh, he's in second place. And Michael Kratzer from Austria will join them on the podium. So let's cross the new. Then we'll have uh, all the uh, trials, tribulations, and absolute scenes of an MX1 podium for race one here. Well, in uh, fact, in this year's championship, there hasn't been uh, too many uh, situations that uh, uh, Honda has uh, got themselves up here. But uh, we know of their glory and what they've achieved in many quality years in our uh, sport. But uh, I'm just glimpsing over here at the moment to the uh, number one plate being uh, slipped over the top of the 44 plate for uh, Maximus Mums, one of the first ones there, to uh, have a hug and a congratulations and a smile on the face. Th this is an amazing young man. He is an absolutely exquisite machine operator. That's his day job. Of course, he loves his... Uh, 
uh, outdoors. He's a, uh, a, a shooter, a fisherman. Uh, he is, uh, you know, a maniac when it comes to outdoors. Uh, he's helped to build the new uh, Dirt World uh, complex, of course, between here and uh, Rotorua also. So uh, this guy lives the sport, loves the sport, lives for other sports, like his hunting and shooting as well. So uh, an incredible young man, all-round nice guy, so humble. Uh, Nez had a bad word to say about anybody else, takes it all in his stride. His speeches that we see, event after event, are all this, uh, you know, just so, oh, yeah, you know, sort of casual, laid back. If ever there was a definition of laid back in motocross, this is the man. So, uh, you know, there's not the hype about it. There's not any, never says anything negative about anybody else. Uh, but uh, I tell you what, to have uh, been as humble as he has, this is special in our sport. As I say, to join this unique list of people, having won MX125, MX2, and now an MX1 title. And I think we're going to see a shirt for it, folks. And we're going to see a shirt change here as well. And we're going to have uh, a new uh, rider and Michael to come up and join us. In fact, if he's there at the moment, let's get him up here in third place. Come on, New Zealand. Isn't it great to have overseas riders to come and join us all the way from Austria? Let's hear it, Mr. Michael Klutzer. Up here to the uh, podium today. And uh, well done, Michael. This is something special for our sport, and we're going to really look forward to this. We'll uh, get him up here at the moment. And, of course, we're also uh, going to have our uh, champion as well. So here it is, man, the uh, number three. Congratulations. Welcome to New Zealand. What made you want to come to New Zealand? I want uh, to do something different, not always in Europe or Austria. And yeah, uh, I'm so happy about the opportunity with Honda Motor Racing. So yeah, they works great. My bike works now also great. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy now to stay here. And also on the podium, uh, unbelievable. So uh, yeah, that is uh, very sad. So it's my last race here now and on Tuesday. Uh, my plane goes home, so, oh, wow. but it was a very nice experience and I am so happy about here, thanks to my, my team, my mechanic, uh, Lappi, he did always a great job and, and all the team too, so yeah, uh, and I am very happy about Let's be happy with him. Come on, folks, a man from Austria. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great story, great story, Michael. Love having you with us. How cool is that? And uh, certainly an opportunity to acknowledge. But I tell you what, a pretty awesome story from a man who was uh, back in the pack, from a man who decided he wanted to come back in motocross, and he's done it, let alone it was uh, one result. It was one better here today for second place. Come on, the white line local man. Let's hear it, Mr. Brad Groombridge. BG, oh, the crowd today. Hey, matey, this is awesome. Now, did you put yourself on the scales at Belclutha for that first round? You, you knew you were on a path, mate, but you wouldn't have, what's that, another 10 kg since then? Oh, yeah, I don't really know, Neil. I'm not <laughs> worried too much about it. I just, you know, my riding's improving, and that's the main thing. So, yeah, just happy to be out there and happy to be up at the pointy end a bit further. Shame to see uh, Hamish go down there. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's brutal out there and it's only going to get worse. Yeah, it is indeed, it is indeed. What does it feel like to do this at Digger McEwen though? This is your home outside of Capes. I'm working out, I reckon you're the uh, second most man who's done the most laps around this place. How does it feel to come back again, again, again? Oh yeah, it's always good, you know, racing in your hometown and uh, yeah, I have done a million laps around here, Neil, so you know, you get a good read on what the track's going to do throughout the day. But um, awesome to see Max up here as well and congratulations to him. Um, yeah, awesome to see two locals up here, yeah. Well done, there he is, our uh, white line Kawasaki man in second place. But here he is, folks, to win the race, and we're going to put it together to win the title for the first time, your new MX1 champion, Maximus Purvis! Mr. Nice Guy, and a smile on his face as well, uh, Max. Pretty darn special today, mate. Oh, yeah, definitely um, feels good to have the number one now, and, uh, yeah, I had a good... Good start anyway, and I was just following Hamish around, and then he made a mistake. But um, yeah, finished the race, and may I got number one. Yeah, man, you got it, you got it, and you well deserve it. Hey, so you're out here, you're, you're, you're sitting in a, in a bush clearing, you're waiting for a bit of a deer to come in, so you can have a bit of shoot, and you're calm and you're relaxed, and then you come out and you can race some motocross. How can you do those two ho wholly contrasting sports? Oh, I don't know. It's just all good fun, eh? Love it all. Love it all. All right, mate. And then, and then you'll be back on a machine tomorrow to go and dig up some more dirt somewhere. Yeah, on the machines for the week, and then um, going to go to Aussie and do three rounds over there, yeah. and the big hat of desert race as well. And um, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that'll be mean. That'll be mean, all right. And we're all mean about you being number one. Hop it up there, mate. And let's hear it. Three fans. Well, you could not ask for a better title. Michael, congratulations. Here to join us. Thank you very much. Brad, the local. And, of course, this man, the local, from just up the road in Manga Kino and your new MX1 champion and the number one play on. Get the cameras out, folks. Get it flashing. Get a great shot of that one. That is darn special. So, uh, well done. And, uh, Michael, thank you for being with us in New Zealand. Did you hear that, folks? He's back on the plane this week. Finally, from all of us that love motocross in New Zealand, let's say thank you to Michael Kratzer from Austria. Thank you very, very much to join us. And thank you, Honda, for having the wisdom and seeing that we wanted this man. He always wanted to come to New Zealand. It's a great story. Oh, folks, we're only halfway through the day here today. We've crowned another champion. We've got more great racing to come. We have a short break on our program at the moment, which will be... 1.30, thank you, 1.30, Scotty, our race director, that's a race start, race start for YZ65s is 1.30, so you've got a short break, you've got time for a coffee, you've got time for an ice cream, you've got time for a bit of food, and then we're back for our final round of racing today, we have uh, crowned our champions, except, except the women's champion, we're in for a fantastic finale with that one, three points between first and second, so what a climactic way to uh, finish our racing today, courtesy of our insurance, uh, Fox and Pirelli, power is nothing without control, we're in for a delightful afternoon, folks, if you're out there on sea test, you've got time to go away. You, I don't think you'll get the lawns mowed. You might get a little garden weeded. You might have time to wash half the car. You can wash the other half uh, later on as well. Or, of course, if you're here at the moment, head pit side. Go and check out these people. Have you seen all the posters available for the kids? Think of your grandkids. Think of the nephews. Think of your schoolmates. And think, hey, they'd love a poster as well. And get it signed by your new number one in Maximus Purvis. Not a more popular man in New Zealand moto than that super kid. So what a great story to tell. Mr. Casual, Mr. Laidback. But now Mr. Number One, Maximus Purvis, MX1 champion in New Zealand. What a great day for our sport, folks. Bring it on. Have an enjoyable lunch break. We'll be back shortly.